How's it going everybody, and Kanan Steger here, and welcome back to another unboxing, and today I bring you uh, a first for me. I have a limited run uh, video game to unbox today, and that game is Doom 64. So yeah, this is the first thing I've actually ever ordered from limited run games. This, I have heard of them, I have been sort of following what they do and all that stuff, but I haven't really been sort of interested, but then... They had Doom 64 up for a physical release, but then I'm a little bit bummed out because the reason I ordered it, I thought I'd like to have it on a current gen console. Well, I think they then, a bit later on when you know made the order, uh, Doom 64 is now on a current gen uh, console, I'm pretty sure of it. I remember being a little bit annoyed about it, but I'll tell you what, looks awesome. I got the uh, collector's edition. Uh, my first nitpick so I assume you get a card with every game you order so this is 143 in the limited run collection uh, no sleeve this was not sleeved and that is a big no-no for me if you're gonna ship these you know these cards in these things you gotta sleeve them that's <clears throat> that just bugs me but apart from that little nitpick it's a nice looking card really awesome onto the the game itself so got a bit of weight, and it looks like you know the N64 box art. And I went with the Switch one. And I thought, yeah, you know, I'll stick with Switch. I won't worry about you know the PS4 and all that. See, originally I didn't because I didn't have enough room. Now I've bought a storage for the PS4 because I didn't realise they exist. But uh, that's all right. I'll you know I'm happy to have it for the Switch. You know Nintendo. It was on Nintendo 64. So get a look at the back cover. They did a really nice job sort of recapturing, you know, the box art. I mean, I love the beveling on it, and you know what? I'm not keeping it sealed. I'm playing the damn thing, so let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. The one game I'm sort of I know I just bought it, but it'd be pretty cool if they did Legend of Dragoon for PS4, maybe. I hope they do Super Metroid you know, someday. That'd be really cool. So, we'll get another... So they look at it. That looks awesome. Uh, I'll just do it again because uh, they're wrapped off. You know, there is never a right way to open these. <laughs> oh, now this is the reason I went for the Clayton's Edition because this looks really cool. Check that out. It's the N64 cartridge in like a meta like metal die cast, whatever it's called. Jesus Christ, it's got a bit of weight on it. But uh, that just looks awesome. <laughs> really, really cool. Jeez, you could really, you know, knock someone out with that. That's, that's just awesome. Really love it. Really cool. And we've got the, you know, the instruction booklet. I'll try and, uh... See, I never played Doom 64 or owned the game, so I don't know if it's, you know, an exact sort of um, replica of what the book looked look like. The Hell Knight. I'm not savvy on, see I, I've played a lot of Doom in you know, growing up, Doom 2 especially, it was a, uh, not Christmas, uh, birthday present in 2001 from a family friend because we got a computer for the first time and we always played Doom but I can't even tell you all the enemies' names and all that stuff. Uh, oh, I've got the cool poster. I am not going to get that in. Uh, I'll tell you what, right now, <laughs> I'll just have a picture here. Wow, that looks awesome. What is it with old school video game posters that just... It just it hits me. <laughs> it really hits me. It hits close to home. Oh, those were the days. Oh, you know, getting the, the latest gaming magazine and ripping out all the posters. I actually did well to get that back in. And, of course, we have the game itself. To hell with you. Take the fight to hell with Doom 64 Triumphant Return. Fight against demons in your crusade to hunt down the mother demon and stop hell's invasion as you battle through more than 30 action packed levels. Be on the lookout for enhanced weapons and secrets to help you put an end to the demonic threat. Oh, I'm a little ashamed. I've I bought the collector's edition of Doom, like Doom, Doom, 
in 2016. Got the really cool, what is it, the Revenant statue where it lights up, it looks really cool, really awesome. Uh, I never actually got past the second level because I wanted to record it, but my PC at the time, it just wouldn't lock on, it was really struggling, so I thought I'll, you know, you got the new computer, I'll do it then, but I still haven't got to it, but I will eventually, because I had a really good time for the first 10 minutes of the game I played. Oh, yes. Huh? What's this? Oh, hang on. So, oh, that's behind the scenes booklet. This is the instruction booklet. Oh, did I get it wrong? I said the Hell Knight. No, it was the Cyber Demon. My mistake, sorry. Once again, I'm not too savvy with my lore. And there it is. There's the game. So yeah, I'm gonna get that installed after this and uh, I'll probably, uh, I'm not sure. See, I really, I really enjoy recording classic games more than sort of late, like today's release of games. So I don't know if I wanna play it or record it. Not too sure. Can't wait. I'm excited. I'm just. I'm really, really excited to, you know, record some stuff. I've been a bit uh, off the um, recording lately. Uh, my mic broke, so I had to get a new one. But uh, I'll tell you what, I'll get this all back in for now. I'll tell you what, I'll slip the card in there as well for safekeeping. Should have put it in the game box, really. And there we are. That is Doom 64. Now, my first thoughts for limited run. I'm happy. I'm happy with the. G what is going on out there? Is that a dog or someone screaming? It's a dog. <gasps> it's a hell night. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so this is the first thing I've ever ordered. From what I can recall, I don't think I've ever ordered from them. I'm just thinking, did I order it? No, that was Lace Records. I was going to say Records. No, that's Lace Records. So yeah, this is the first thing I've ever bought, and um, I'm happy. F uh, for like at the moment, I'm glad. With the uh, the product, uh, I hope it runs. <laughs> I really, you know, hope it's okay and runs smoothly. I'm happy with the sort of the collector's edition of it. My one nitpick was the trading card not being sleeved. If you're going to do that, please sleeve them. And another thing, I was sort of bummed. just the waiting. Now I I do like what they're doing. They don't have a a set order. They let the orders come in and then they ship them out to, you know, to be built, which I really do like that. I am tired in this day and age of the gaming world where it's uh, first come, first serve, uh, that Resident Evil 2 collector's edition that you want, or too bad, there was only 10 of them. It wasn't 10, but this is an example. Uh, if you don't wake up in time, too bad you missed out. I hate that. It is so dumb. But I like limited run style that, right, the orders are open for the whole month. If you don't get your order, well, sorry, you miss out. So, really awesome. And funny enough, I have the Doom collection ordered already. I think it's Doom 1, 2, and 3. It's just, it's the latest one for Doom. And uh, I'm looking forward to having that. Really excited. And. Yeah, I'm just going to keep my eye out on anything that jumps out. Oh, the Castlevania one looks really cool. Uh, they've got these like shadow art boxes, but it was like $50 more. But then I thought, nah, it's just a box. <laughs> I'll save myself $50. And the Castlevania one looks really cool. I might consider getting that. Because I have a bit of redemption for Castlevania. I need to replay that and play it legit. <laughs> so, yeah, I tell you what. I'll be here all night talking. I'm very <laughs> excited about, you know... This is really cool, and yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later.